Hello and welcome. So today we are going to uh, talk about doing bills and paying bills. So there's a big uh, group of bills that we're going to enter in section four for the TAD gaming uh, case study. And then we're gonna go ahead and then pay those bills off. And so we're gonna walk through that really quick and kind of show you some of the things that would be helpful to get those done uh, quickly. So first thing we're going to do to enter bills, so that we, we're going to go up to our add new here, plus new right there, and we're going to go to vendors uh, bill. So this is where we're going to enter everything. All of our vendors hopefully should be in here already if we've imported those vendors in here. So this is the very first one that we're going to do, and we're going to have um, we need to make sure to uh, change our terms to match up with what is in the in the case study requirement there. Uh, there's several of them that we're going to use, so make sure to change the terms. Uh, we have our bill date here. We're going to make sure that we update that to what our bill date says in there as well. Uh, our due date will automatically update depending on what the terms say. Our bill number on here right there okay and now, now as it says account number what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down and it's gonna be right in here is what our account number is gonna be and so we're gonna look for that right that number which is 62 right there uh, insurance liability Okay, uh, really there's no description on this that we can, you know, as we do these in real life for our business, we may have some more specifics we're gonna put in there, but on these case study ones where there's really not any description we're gonna put down, but there is an amount. There we go. So we'll just take a look at that real quick and everything looks good. So we can go over here as we put all of these in we can then uh, change this little green tab here. Instead of doing save and close, we're going to do save and new on that. There we go. And then that will bring up the next uh, vendor for us to continue on with. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this next one. This next one's a little bit different just because it has a split in it. So I'll show you this one real quick. So it's going to be uh, this one's net 10. We don't have net 10 here in our system, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an add new, and it's going to be uh, net 10 is what we're going to put on there, okay? Doing fixed number of days, and of course that's going to be 10 days, and we'll do save on that, and then make sure we got our date right on here, our bill date. There we go. And then our due date will update automatically. So that looks good. Make sure we put the right bill number on here. There we go. Okay, so now on here, when it has a split, we're going to uh, put two different account numbers in here. Uh, so we can go ahead and key it in here. There we go. You can kind of see it come up there. This one's gonna be notes payable for this amount. And then the next one is gonna be, oops, uh, that one's gonna be 6,600. Hmm, I don't have that one on here. I'll actually have to go look on that one and see what that one is. That one's probably a, an expense, an insurance expense. So there's my 62,300. I need a 62600 so I'll go ahead and look on that and make sure I add that in there so uh, one thing I can do is add in as I go here and so that one's going to be an expense of course it's going to be related to insurance uh, and then the number on that of course was 62600 go there's an insurance expense I just put in there and then the amount is 37 
8437 for a total of 295.25. Looks like that's the right amount. We do save it new. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through the rest of these real quick. If there's anything new that comes up, I will kind of slow the video down and, and show you. Um, if not, we'll just zoom through to the end and I'll show you the bill pay setup. Okay, so there are uh, uh, several here right in the beginning here. There's three uh, that are um, travel and mills, right? So they're similar. The only difference with them is the bill number and the vendor. So what we can do is, once we've saved, make sure to save the first one. I'm on the second one, but you can do this with the very first one once you get it set up. If you're gonna do some that are identical, uh, uh, so even on the same day right here, so what you can do is you go down to more and you can actually copy what you've done okay so i'm going to go ahead and hit copy here and it's going to bring it up and it says you know this is a copy here so i'm working on the copy and so i can go ahead and enter the new vendor in here there we go there's my new vendor and i'll enter a new uh, bill number here this will be again uh, due on receipt make sure that's correct the bill number here is going to be there we go same uh, got the bill dates on there got the same category and the same amount so I've got all that correct got my new bill number up at the top and you one important thing is is when you copy right uh, make sure not to just overwrite what you've done, right? You've got to hit copy. This little, this little uh, warning has to come up at the top, and then you know you're working on that new one. So whatever it is, whether it's a bill or any of the other items that we could enter into QuickBooks. So that's just one thing to help kind of speed things up is you can copy things over and do that, especially if you have a lot of the same fields, amounts, the same accounts, all those different things that you're going to be doing. So, so I've got this one done, so I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, now I'm going to do save and new and I'll continue on with the rest of the, uh, the entries. Okay, so now that now I'm done with entering all those bills, uh, one one place you can go and just double check what you've just done is you can go into expenses and see there's all my bills I just entered. So there they are. You can kind of take a look at them real quick and see, make sure there's nothing crazy. It looks like something happened here with this one, for example. Uh, it looks like I may have put the wrong, uh, I put the insurance account number in as the bill number. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that real quick right here so this should have a different bill number that bill no number should be uh, right here it should be insurance 022025 so that's that's what it should be uh, there we go so that should look better Yep, very good. Uh, let's see, it looks like this one's incorrect as well. I should tab 03 on that one. So uh, my bill number is incorrect on that as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and fix that right there. There we go. So it looks like I got my bill numbers correct now. 
Uh, let's see. I did it in all caps there. I don't know if that really matters per se. And then, uh, you know, mixed caps there. So, so anyways, all right. So it looks like we're good to go. So now we're going to shift over and we're going to pay some of these bills. So um, <clears throat> one of the important things is to get the bill payments done on the right date, right? So uh, the bills, the idea with this is you can do things in a batch, right? Or you can do it uh, as a single bill, right? And so either way, what we can do, an easy way to manage these things is to go to plus new and then pay bills. Okay? And it's, so it's going to bring all of these bills up that we have to pay. Uh, but then we're going to just kind of, we're going to narrow them down to what we want to pay on a certain date. So I'm going to go ahead and go through by month here. So first I'm going to do the January ones. Then I'm going to do the ones I'm paying on the first uh, part of February. Then I'm going to do the ones at the end of February. So the payment date is going to be what I'm going to be changing here. So the first one is going to be my January, end of January payment date. Okay. It looks like my check number is correct, so I've got that. I've got that correct, so that looks good. And then the the one I'm going to do right there is this very first one. Yeah, that's going to be the first one that I'm going to do. And so I can just uh, select that one, just check the box there, and I, I'll only pay that one on that date, and it'll use that uh, that check number. So that's what it's going to look like. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect. So I got that one done. And then now I can go back in here and pay the rest. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, oops, that's, I clicked on the wrong one there. There we go. Pay bills. Okay, so now for the rest of them. So I'm going to do my VR systems will be next. Uh, let's see, real time. Okay, that looks good. Just double checking with my payment time here. Now that all looks good. That looks like it has the right check numbers on there. I'm just looking at my check numbers. In the expenses here, I can look and see what the bill payments are. So that looks good. So this is something, as you notice, we're not actually printing checks here, right? And so um, this is uh, maybe the manual way, right, to do it. That's maybe a, a good name to use. So we could have, for example, a checkbook where I actually write the checks out, okay? not uh, totally uh, unseen in the business world where you still write checks out uh, for small businesses, medium-sized business. A lot of times you can also, you can print checks. So that's something else you can definitely do through the system here. But what we're doing here is we're basically just saying, okay, the checks I've written, I'm now putting into my accounting system to make sure everything's uh, reconciled right in my checking account so that these are the checks that I've written in my manual checkbook and now I'm putting that in um, to my system so I'm going to go ahead and do that very the last couple of them here I may speed this up I don't think there's anything new uh, to cover but I'll just go ahead and zoom through these Go. It looks like we have them all written correctly and everything's looking good. Thanks for uh, watching with me and, and good luck on this batch. If you have any questions, uh, con contact me and we'll help you through it. Thanks. Bye.